What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you all my 14 foot John boat that over the last few months I've been turning into a bass boat. So I've been posting, I think I posted about 28 videos on this John boat build. And in all those videos I went into full detail on certain parts, but I never showed the entire boat build in one video. So that is what I am doing today. So here is my 14 foot John boat. So here is my 14 foot John boat. So I bought this John boat all stock. I bought the John boat and the trailer all together from Academy. But when I bought it, it was the normal green and I bought it with plans to turn it into a bass boat. I did not have any plans. This is just the end product. But the first thing I did to it was I painted it red. So most John boats come in that normal John boat green. I'm not sure what the actual color is. So I'm just gonna call it John Boat Green. But I really like this red, it pops. And one good thing about this is people can see me on the lake a whole lot easier from a farther distance. So there's one good reason I painted it red, but I painted it red because it's just awesome. Red's my favorite color. And as you can see, it looks so freaking good. So I have a lot of comments of people asking me, how is the paint holding up? And the paint is actually holding up really good. Of course, there's nicks on this top edge from where I'm hitting docks. But uh, other than that, it looks great. The sides are holding up great. I did notice some chipping down here on this weld where it sticks out, but that is from me beaching it on the beach. So that's why it's chipping down there. But other than that, the paint is holding up great. No problems whatsoever. But I also painted it right. I put in all the work, which really sucked. But next thing I did was I wanted to build a casting deck up front. So I had no plans for this casting deck. I could not think of anything. I didn't know what I was doing. I have never built a John boat before or done anything like this. So no plans, I just started to build. I built a two x four frame and this was the finished product. All I really knew was I wanted the deck to be up to the lip of the boat and close to it. I saw some where the deck sits right here on the bench and I really didn't like that. I think this looks a whole lot better. Of course, that's just my opinion. But I built this deck with four hatches. We have hatches one, two, there's three and there's four. If you saw the hatch video, you know that this hatch cannot open now because the trolling motor sits on top of it. That was a mess up on my part. Like I said, I've never done this before, didn't have a plan, so of course things are gonna go wrong. But for the latches on the hatches, I just cut pieces of a strap, so like a ratchet strap or tie down. I cut that and just stapled it on there, and that is my latches. Super easy, super cheap. I could have spent probably another 50 or 60 bucks on latches, but it was free because I did it like this. Super simple as well and it looks good. You can step on it, it won't cause no problems. It doesn't get a thousand degrees in this Texas heat. I am in Texas by the way. But here is the hatches. I have all this space under here for storage. I guess I'll go into that real quick. I took out everything by the way, besides this box because I couldn't take it out. So here we have a battery, it stores right here. It stays there, never comes out. And then on this side, we have a bunch of electrical stuff. So we have a fuse block and a kill switch down there. So in here, I just store life jackets, all the anchors, deck rope, stuff like that. But this is where I store all the anchors. Down here we have the battery for the fish finder. That strap right there is screwed in and velcroed around the battery and that's what keeps that in place. But that is the battery to my fish finder. So I keep everything in these hatches. I took everything out so y'all could just kind of see the boat. But there's the hatches. So on top of the deck I have a Minn Kota 45 pound thrust 12 volt 5 speed trolling motor. It has the foot pedal. I built a recessed 
for or in the deck for the pedal which works amazing that that's the, probably my favorite thing about this boat when I'm fishing on top of the deck I can control where I go and it is awesome super easy to control uh, on the trolling motor I have the transducer for the fish finder but here is the trolling motor let's go ahead and pull this down so here is the trolling motor down so next thing on the deck after the trolling motor is this six switch panel here. I have the four deck lights, the running lights, and the cabin lights all hooked up to this. And this is hooked up to the battery right here. So here is the fuse block and the kill switch to this battery. I can turn this on real simple, just like that. And now we have power to all these lights. It's uh, sunny as crap outside right now, so uh, you can't see the lights, but uh, I do have video of all that, so I'll throw that in right here. So there is a switch panel up front. I also have one in the back, but we will get there eventually. Um, I'll go ahead and turn this off, so don't forget. I have a LED strip right here that is 26 inches long. I also have one right here under the lip of the boat and one on this side as well so this shoots down into the water so these two lights right here were on the top to be lights on the top of the deck for night fishing but we tried it and it was just way too bright so what i did that night was i just flipped them around to the underside and that seemed to work out pretty good it wasn't too bright but it was bright enough to see what you're doing and also these side lights right here are cool because it shines down into the water and when I'm filming I can film fish releases or I can just shine light into the water to attract fish so that's pretty cool so next up on the front deck we have a fish finder so this is a Garmin striker plus 9 SV so I got all the wires running straight down under the base the wire runs all through here and it shoots out this side right here and then that's the transducer wire and it follows this cord to the trolling motor up and then it goes down there to the transducer which is right there so that is my fish finder on the boat which is awesome i freaking love this thing it has a nine inch screen super big and like i said that battery to the fish finder is screwed in and velcroed to place right here all right, so next thing on the front deck is I have these two spaces back here where I just keep these containers that have everything I need. I have one there and one over here. Also have this outdoor annual book just to make sure I'm keeping the right size fish. But in these boxes, I keep everything I need for the boat. So we got the registration here. We got the whistle that is required to have the air horn required to have I have an extra boat plug back here then we have extra parts for my aerator there we got some clippers to cut string we got two of those just in case we have bells we need a lot of bells uh, we have some pliers tools a knife we have a gripper to get the hooks out of the fish's mouth we have a crap ton of extra fuses in here in case we blow some then we just have a marker and then here we have a, a voltage checker for batteries just in case I have this on the boat just to check my batteries you don't want to ever run out of battery while you're out in the middle of a lake that would suck then we got some extra zip ties in there here is my leash for my motor the kill switch all right so that is what is in that one also down here I have the fire extinguisher which is also required to have that lives there and I thought I was gonna have to add some straps right here to keep this stuff inside there but that stuff has never ever bounced out it doesn't even slide around inside there in this next one I have all of my scents baits stuff like that oils here we have some classic bass oil uh, power scents what is this crappie nibbles stuff like that I got a whole bunch of stuff for trout whenever I fish in the winter so that stuff just lives in here just because I never use it half the year mr. trout salmon eggs 
Uh, we got some extra paracord. I just do that in there just in case. Here we have some dog food. That is for my minnow trap. Um, here we have some bobbers. I'll probably throw in some more. But And then we have a fish scale right here to weigh the fish. Keep track of personal best. And then we just have the extra plastic slots or dividers in there as well. So that is what stays in that one. That goes there. All right, so there is the front deck of my John boat. I absolutely love this thing. It's so nice to cast off of. Also, it's a great seat for any passengers. That's where they sit. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this front deck came out. I'm happy with how the whole entire boat came out. Especially for not having a single plan and just getting outside and start building and this is what came of it. So I'm really pleased with how it came out. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the middle section, which ain't much. We have a floor down here. Under the floor, I have a crap ton of pool noodles. In case it ever takes on water, it will uh, be more buoyant in the water. It won't sink to the bottom. And then there are six ribs in the middle section. So what I did is I went and attached all these rod holders to all the ribs. So we have six rod holders in the middle of the boat, which I love. I can go full speed. Of course, I only have an eight horsepower motor, but I can go full speed and my poles can be sitting right there and I don't have to worry about them at all. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Happy I put those on. Here in the middle, we have the wires. That is marine grade six gauge wire running to this battery back here and to the trolling motor. But that's it for the middle section. So here is on the back section. Same exact setup, um, no plans, I just went for it. I tried to plan this one. I will plan this thing for like four days and I could not come up with a plan. I could not come up with a drawing. So I just said, screw it. We just have to go back out there and start building again like we did last time. So here we have a seat. Wanted to make sure I have a seat for the driver. The seat is on the 360 swivel base as well it can go all the way around and not hit the side but i definitely wanted the 360 swivel to reach back and be able to hit the throttle on the motor so there's the seat i only put one in here one's all you really need i can have a passenger sit up here right there even up here as well i did have three people in this john boat on the last trip i took and it worked out fine all right, so the back deck has two hatches. So I built two hatches on this thing to have two batteries back here. Here is one of the batteries and then also have the battery charger here. So as soon as I get home, I can plug this in to the wall and I'm automatically charging both of my batteries. It is a dual battery charger, a NOCO Genius. I love this thing, it's so easy to charge my batteries. And I don't have to take out the batteries to charge them. So here is one battery back here. Nothing special about that. Um, I did hook up a, a circuit breaker down there. You can't see it because of the lighting. Oh, there it is, right there. So. That's off right there. All I have to do to turn this battery on is flip that switch. And then I have power to my trolling motor, this back nav light or anchor light, and what else? Oh, the bilge pump back here. So like I said, I built two hatches back here for two batteries, but whenever I put this thing on the water, it was really back heavy. With this motor, all the gas, and two batteries, it was just sitting too low in the water. So I moved the other battery up front that you already seen. So back here, I just have this for storage now. All my fishing tackle is in here. That is how that looks. Then over here, I also have a fuse block as well. And then back here, I have another six switch panel. Back here, it controls the bilge pump, which is located right there that is a 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump that thing pumps out water crazy fast i never get enough water in the boat to actually use that sadly but uh it's there and ready to go and then also have the anchor light there so that is all i have hooked up back here 
Like I said, this was planned to have two batteries and I had planned to use a whole lot more of these switches for all the lights up front, but I had to make a change to make the boat safer. So I did. But again, just using the same straps for my latches, super easy to pull up. Uh, let's see, we can throw that back in there. Okay, so down here, you can see the gas tank right there. I have a six gallon gas tank which just barely fit. I mean, that thing is tight. Um, I was planning on building a hatch right here, but I didn't, but I probably should have just for the gas tank, but it's okay, I can still reach down inside there, get to the, the valve, get to the tank. Um, here is the hose for the gas tank that just sits right in there as well. On this bilge pump, we have a hose running out to the back that shoots the water out that way. Then, uh, like I already mentioned, the nav light is here. And then on this side, I put a cleat right here. That's for anchoring the docks. The gas hose, and that goes up to a eight horsepower Mercury outboard motor. I love this motor. This thing is so reliable. This motor was two and a half inches too big for my transom, so I had to build a custom riser plate, which is what you see here. But once I added that, this thing ran perfect. I don't know the full speed. I haven't tested it out yet. So I need to get an app that tells me how fast I'm going, but uh, I will do that soon. And let y'all know how fast I can get with this eight horsepower motor on this 14 foot John boat. But uh, there is my John boat. That's basically everything I have in it right now. It is still newly built, so I'm sure I'll add more stuff to it. But for the most part, that is my 14 foot John boat to bass boat build. And like I said, I have 28 videos of this entire build. I went into full detail of everything. So if y'all wanna see how I built the front deck or attach the fish finder, uh, cut out this square for the foot pedal, I have videos in full detail on every single thing I did to this boat. And that is right here. So click on that playlist, check that out if you want to check that out. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.